ฮัลโหลสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะเพื่อนๆวันนี้พาลิสจะพาเพื่อนๆไปทัวร์โลกใต้ดินด้านมืดแห่งเอดินเบระยุคอาชญากรรมครองเมืองในศตวรรษที่18ด้านมืดที่เต็มไปด้วยการป้นฆ่าทรมานการแขวนคอการลากล่างไปตามพื้นและยังเกี่ยวพันไปถึงเรื่องราวความสยองขวัญความน่ากลัวมากมายนอกจากนี้ผู้คนยังเชื่อว่าที่เหล่านั้นเป็นแหล่งรวมกิจกรรมอาถรรพ์ต่างๆด้วยไม่ว่าจะเป็นที่ตั้งของแม่มดหมอผีการบูชาสตานการกักขังจองจำการทรยศหักหลังการทรมานรวมไปถึงความตายอันน่าสยดสยองและวิญญาณที่ถูกกักขังที่เอดินบาระในช่วงปลายศตวรรษที่18ได้มีการสร้างสะพานขึ้นมาชื่อว่าสะพานเซาบิดร้านค้าต่างๆเช่นร้านจิวเวอรี่ร้านรองเท้าร้านอาหารก็ถูกสร้างขึ้นบนพื้นผิวของสะพานโดยที่สะพานถูกประกบด้วยตึกแถวและสร้างพื้นที่ปิดล้อมระหว่างสวนโค้งใต้พื้นผิวของสะพานเจ้าของร้านจึงตัดสินใจใช้พื้นที่ใต้สะพานนั้นสร้างเครือข่ายอุโมงค์และห้องใต้ดินเพื่อใช้เป็นที่เก็บของและใช้เป็นพื้นที่ในการทํางานซึ่งพื้นที่ใต้ดินเหล่านั้นเขาไม่อนุญาตให้คนทั่วไปเข้าไปยกเว้นว่าเราจะซื้อทัวร์โดยที่มีไกด์นำพาเราเข้าไปเยือนโลกใต้ดินแห่งเอเดนบาระสวัสดีทุกคนเดี๋ยววันนี้นะคะแพลิสจะพาทุกคนไปที่ข้างใต้โอชาวนะคะที่เอเดนบาระเราก็จะไป Experience ไปย้อนไปเวลาที่แบบเมืองเนี้ยยังเต็มไปด้วยอัจฉริยกรรมนะคะแล้วเขาก็มีการลงโทษมีการทอเชอร์ทรมานต่างๆโอ้ยน่ากลัวแล้วยังไม่ได้เข้าไปเลยเดี๋ยวไปกันเลยจ้าและแน่นอนค่ะเพื่อนๆพาลิสก็ได้ซื้อทัวร์อันเดอร์กาวอล์กิ้งทัวร์อินเอเดนเบระทัวร์โลกใต้ดินแห่งเอเดนเบระค่ะ Lovely folks on we go ไปเลยอ่ะทุกคนอยากได้อุปกรณ์ชิ้นไหนอ่ะอยากได้ชิ้นไหนไว้ใส่อ่ะคะสีแดงๆไม่ใช่เลือดใช่ไหมเขาทำใหม่
So we'll, this room here is a tenement building. Now we sandwiched the bread for these tenement buildings when it was first built. And it is our torture museum. But before that, it was a student's apartment back in 1972. And as you can see, there were some extremely kinky bastards. <laughs> now next door was their bedroom. They were having a few pints with their mates and they could hear noises coming from behind one of the walls. They began to bang on the wall. They could hear one section was hollow. So they smashed it down with a sledgehammer. If you'd like to follow me this way, find your step on the way out. And if you're just like, okay, you can follow me here. <laughs> Oh, oh now go sleep something. Get the sock on. Come I think that was my favourite reaction I've ever had with someone coming into this corridor. Was your one? Which I just said, oh my lord! <laughs> Welcome to the Southbridge Vault! That is now us underground, we're underneath the bridge itself. And we're going to go through these vaults, we're going to tell different stories about murderers, the witch trials, the slums. And we're going to start right here inside this vault, so if you'd like to have a wee gander into there, folks. selling their stock. This might have been a tavern or potentially just a storage room. Once they all moved out due to the dampness and superstition, this space began to be home to much darker people. First, it was the murderers, the rapers and the muggers that came lurking into these vaults. It then was followed by brothels, opium dens and abortion clinics. And finally, the homeless. Up to 40 people sleeping vault just like this. And they'd be sleeping on these hard floors on top of all their muck, their own feces. Now upstairs there'd be a group of homeless people living in the vaults just above us and all their sewage would begin to drip through the ceiling here. Right on top of the folks down here it would trickle down the walls here right into these very gruesome sort of puddles around the floor here. Terrible day to wear right shoes. We're going to head next door, we're going to look at some of our more recent history that we've had here. We're going to look at the witch trials and some more of our paranormal stuff down here as well. Lovely. When we go, folks, mind your step on the way up. Lovely. You cleanse the vault of their negative spirits and their demonic entities. Now inside that vault upon the floor is their main symbol, which is the symbol of a pentacle. And it represents means the five elements, fire, water, earth, air, and spirit. And each corner represents the, that element, and that element is represented by some of the many tools that they would use in their spellcraft. Fire is represented by the different coloured candles that they would have. Earth was herbs and crystals, water was anointed oils, you had air was just the spoken word of the spell, and spirit was about the intent you were bringing to the spells. Now inside around that as well as a white circle of protection, this was made out of chalk and salt. Now it was basically used to build inside the circle, so what negative spirits or malevolent energies were going into the majesty of the cast or their themselves. Now like I said, this was not their first choice in the world. We're gonna head to their original vault now. But I would make one stop on the way, so I will walk on the edge you right and just ask you to keep an eye out for these metal bars when it falls this way. Drag you to the toll booth jail, you're gonna get brutally tortured and then we're gonna burn you alive. Sounds like a fun Thursday afternoon to me. Mm -hmm. Now, how are we gonna torture you? So we're gonna use a device called the Witch's Bridal. It's an iron mask. You might have seen it in the torture museum when you were looking around. It was the one that was a complete iron mask. Then we're gonna place that into a fire. We're gonna heat it up till it goes red. And then we're gonna place it onto your face. This is going to begin to sear and cook the skin from underneath, allowing it to blister and boil. 
And as the mass begins to cool, those boils are going to begin to stick to the metal that's on your face. They're then going to put two chins, uh, two fingers under your chin here, and they're going to slowly begin to peel the mask off your face. And it's going to begin to remove chunks of your skin as it begins to peel off. They're then going to put the mask right back on there, reheating it. And they're then going to get scalding hot oil, and they're going to begin pouring it down each of your eyeballs, cooking and searing them, melting them down, and then they're going to force oil down in your throat while you're screaming. That is going to begin to cook your insides, exercising the devil. Now, this was the Wiccan's first choice of vault. They chose this vault back in 1996 because it was the warmest, it's the driest, and George Cameron said you could feel a strong psychic energy in here. So they put their tapestries on the wall, the glamorous mirror at the back there, and they laid down at this circle here. And this was the original circle of protection that they placed down. Instead of the coming from within this vault, is a deep followed by the screaming and the scratching of something sharp on the floor. Now we're not sure how the rest of the night went, all we know is that he abandoned this vault here and he changed the power of the circle. So instead of repelling evil things, it was now going to attract them. They were trapped inside. And people that step in the circle, weird things do begin to happen to them. And we believe that is because of the malevolent spirit of Nicol Edwards still being trapped in here today. A lot of people that step in here experience the same sensations that the Wiccans experienced here back in 1996. With a few additions to it now, weird temperature changes, people have collapsed in the circle and they've left with those scratches and bruises. So, who'd like to stay on it inside? No, get out, you're not going to stay on it. Oh, yeah, Robert. I can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back. Lovely folks. ที่บนสะพานเสาปิดแล้วนะคะที่เราไปทัวร์มาก็คือด้านนี้เป็นตึกข้างด้านนั้นแล้วเนี่ยค่ะนี่คือวัวที่เราเดินออกมาแล้ว